uh, the update finished up pretty fast, just a few minutes. And now it's asking me to, if I can get around all these fake pop-ups, hang on a second. Uh, clean computer now. I'll go ahead and click that button since it's the only thing I can do. Um, I guess we'll just do a deep scan. Boy, this is fast, huh? <laughs> Second video right in, and I'm doing a full scan. Uh, of course, I haven't really configured anything, so. But as I remember, I think it was already maxed out. I don't know. I'll verify those settings. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, and we'll be right back once it finishes. Okay. I'm uh, back, and uh, A squared has found uh, 742 objects. Uh, it scanned 50,000 files and 38 processes. Um, when it comes back, it checks high risk stuff, and it leaves uh, low risk stuff unchecked, which. I think all low risk stuff needs to go. I'm just going to go ahead and right click and select all. It's going to go through and select everything. If there's a lot, it may sputter for a second like you just saw there. I actually hit select all and it didn't select everything right away. It's because it was going through a huge list. Okay. Let's go ahead and quarantine. And I rarely delete stuff unless I know it's for sure bad, you know, or is uh, the last resort. I just love their interface too. The new version 4.0 is just awesome. Love it, the way it looks. It's pretty fast. I mean, it's it's killing and quarantining you know, a pretty good clip there. And we're only, we're still in the configuration part of this thing. It's just doing a pre-scan, which I, I love. Because it'll get rid of about 90% of the stuff in the pre-scan. A uh, new thing with um, my reviews, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a hijack this after log. I already have the before log. And um, I'm also going to run a, a, a scan with a super anti-spyware to see kind of if anything was left over um, from each program. Because I use, I, I got to admit, I use super anti-spyware on almost every single call that I go on. Um uh, as a you know second and third opinion all the time. So it looks like it killed Internet Explorer, it crashed the computer. This is not uncommon. Uh, when you uh, remove something out of Win Logon uh, or uh, LS, ASS, SV Host, it'll crash the PC. Uh, it did this on my pre-review too, but that's no biggie. If you want to avoid that kind of stuff in the future, mm, I don't think you really can in that part, but I can avoid a lot of blue screens just by uh, selecting do not terminate memory threats and or
or doing a scan in safe mode. I gotta tell you, I love having a 24 inch monitor. I'm watching TV on one side of the screen and doing a review on the other side of the screen. So much easier. I should have just paused all this stuff. But sometimes people want to see how long stuff really takes. Now, since we didn't finish the uh, complete setup of it, like it's a little installation wizard, I'm not, I can't remember what happens after this. I think it pretty much just starts up. I've only looked at this one time, and I've put it on my, uh, in my toolkit to use on calls. Oops, did I just give something away? have to move on to part three of the video in a few in a few here. Hard drive's cranking away. I know you can't hear hear that of course. But I can show you. You can see my little hard drive monitor down there. Just lit solid. All right, hang on, I'm going to pause this. <laughs> this is getting crazy. Hey, guys, real quick. Um, uh, yeah, A squared ate my explorer.exe, so I can't start Explorer. Um, I just went to the A squared quarantine, and I'm going to go ahead and try to restore the file. It's infected with uh, trojan.mezia. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and restore it. And uh, let's go ahead and just pause this video and I'll come back to part three.